Hi, in this session I would like to talk to you about working remotely. Is it from home or anywhere from away from the office? As we all know, 2020 started rough with all the issues going on around the world and lots of people are forced to work from home. I would like to show you how our products can help you to get your everyday tasks done in a very simple way and most importantly on time to keep your customers happy. I have three of our products listed here. Our new platform Boim Cloud with our first module called Build, which lets you build and create items without logging in into SAP Business One. Then I have CRM for Outlook listed. Imagine you just entered a new product for your customer and he asks you to send a quotation. You can just go to Outlook and create the quote straight from there. You can also create an activity to follow up from Outlook and you can assure your customer that he will receive an email soon with the quotation attached because our print and delivery, which, are, which is the third solution I have listed here, you can automate your emailing. You can schedule it whenever you want new uh, documents to go out. For example, maybe you set the scheduler to send all the new documents every hour or maybe every 30 minutes or every minute. It's totally up to you. So those three solutions, starting from the Boyum Cloud, building your product or enter new products, then go to CRM for Outlook and create the quote or a sales order. And then you know you are done because print and delivery will take care of the rest. It will send the document to the customer automatically. So, but let's go in and let's create all the steps I just mentioned. So here I'm in the logon screen from my cloud logon screen. So I'm gonna select my database. I have more than one database connected and click next. The next thing next screen I get is my build module start screen. And you can go through a tutorial. It walks you through the steps, what's available, but I'm going to skip it this time. Okay. And right here, you see all my product requests. You see, I have new requests. I have some in progress, some are waiting for approval and some completed. Right here, if I click here, you see uh, my item list. You can choose produced items or purchased items or all items or you go find the item you're looking for. If I click on here, I see my resources and over here I see my operations because I need those if I need to build an item. But if you don't need to build an item and you just need to enter an item, you just go right in here and you just click new item. Right here, in my case, I don't have serious setup. I just sit manually and I can go ahead and enter my item code, my item name. I do have templates, predefined templates uh, created for me to have default data uh, selected for the item I enter. Then here you have the unit of measure and the item group. So you can just enter an item. You don't have to build an item like a bill of material. But in my case, I will show you how to build a bill of material anyways with the new item really quick. So I have the product request. I'm working from home because I have to for whatever reason. And I got a request from a customer. So I'm going to put, okay, it's an auto kit and the new request is here. So I'm going to click on it and I can enter a description and then I say, okay, the customer needs it from the on the 24th of April. And now I can choose an existing item I want to build or I'm going to add a new item and it's going to take me here again so I can create that item on the fly. Okay, AA1000 we call it and we call it auto kit. 
and there we go this is a template I'm gonna use for outro and it is each unit of measures each and the item group is auto and you see I can go ahead and save it and as soon I do that that item will be created in SAP business form then I can do attachments maybe I send you a picture or a uh, whatsoever I can do an attachment right here I can attach something and then I can add task those are reminders reminders for me uh, call customer uh, and then you do another task and say uh, check uh, item uh, X uh, X um, no? X, Y, Z, and so on. Those are like little reminders for you. And then you say, okay, I did this already. And you check it off. So here you start the product request. You see, this is a new request, but now I'm going to go to bill of material. It is, I need to create a bill of material because the customer sent it to me, for example. So you can duplicate it from an existing item. You can start with an empty list or you download the uh, Excel template. We have a template you can download and then you can import the template. I'm going to go ahead and import my items because the customer sent me the template. And here they are. That's my bill of material. Okay. So then you go over here and you can say, okay, this is the, op um, I'm going to do operation one. And I'm going to do resource, this resource, 300. And I'm going to attach all three bill of material, uh, three items, raw materials, to this operation. So I have an operation, I have a resource, and those are my three items I'm using. Maybe you have another operation, then you just drag and drop. You just drag and drop it. And then maybe you say, okay, I don't need a resource. Maybe I just need that item for it. So you you design your bill of material. Then you can enter time right here. Then I can keep going. I can save and uh, again. Maybe you need to step away. You save it and can come back to it. Or you can say, okay, you know what? I'm going to move it in progress because I already started it. I haven't finished it up. And just to so I show you, if I go back to my board, now it's over here. But maybe you can move it back again. No, I want it here. I want it here. Or it's waiting for approval. Okay? So you can drag and drop, which is really cool. Or you change the status up here. But let's go back to my item. So those my operation plan, then you have another view, like the item structure view. But now I'm going to go to cost. Now you can actually calculate the price. So you go in here, and now it calculates the price from your configuration. I have 5% for indirect labor setup. Uh, I have 4% for indirect material cost uh, setup. There's my sales price, and so on. So it calculates, and this is my margin. Maybe you want more margin. Okay, you can change it. And you can always click in here if you rather have a dollar amount, that not a percentage. Okay. Or you say, oh my gosh, it, it just something uh, went uh, wrong, so I really want to charge this much. So you can do that too. And then it tells you, hey, this is 118% from a net sales price for example, just so you see. And then you can say, okay, this is very important. Update the sales price on release. I'm going to turn it on because I want you to see. I'm going to go ahead and, and save it. All looks good. I'm going to put some notes in here and then I'm going to release this product. And what it's going to do, it's going to put the bill of material also into your SAP Business One. Okay? Now it's in SAP Business One. Uh, and you can change the status again if you would like. Or you go back to the board, which of course I absolutely love. And then you say, okay, it's completed, for example. If you don't 
like the board or prefer a list, you can do it also. You can see, okay, which items are in new, which one in progress, which ones were completed in the completed um, tab. Okay, so this is the cloud. Going back to my slide, now we just build an item basically and we create, or you create an item. It's up to you depending on your company's need. If you need to build one, a whole bill of material, or you just need to enter an item. So the next step, step is CRM for Outlook. So you pull up your Outlook because you're working on it all day long anyway. And I have my email here and you see I have this email highlighted and you see a customer comes up here. So this was the customer maybe, there we go, it was about the Boyum Cloud. Uh, this is the one who wants to get a quote for this item. You just create it and you can go in here, you know that the item is already in SAP Business One. So I'm gonna, go, but we're gonna create a quotation. He asked me to create a quotation. So I'm gonna open it up straight from Outlook. And just like in SAP, you go in here and here is my item, okay? And I'm going to click OK. There we go, there is my item. The sales price was 1050, that's what we changed it to. And we are good to, his, um, he wants five of these auto kits. Here is my total, and then you save and close, okay? And then you can turn around if you would like and create an activity. With this email, with the same email, maybe that was an email where he sent you the attachment for the product, if it's a bill of material, for example. Let's pretend this was that Excel, uh, uh, the attachment he sent me. Then you can also link that sales quotation. You can link the sales quotation right here for him. And here it is, that's the one we just did just like you would do when you do an activity in SAP Business One, okay? Then you can also say, you know what? I want to have a reminder on the 8th of April, put it on my calendar so I follow up. I have the activity created on the for the 8th, but I also want to have it on my Outlook calendar. Okay, and it will copy the text in there and you just save and close it. So there's many ways, there's all this you can do in Outlook. You, I have never logged into SAP because it's all there for me. You know, I have the cloud, I build my items, I create my items. Then I switch over to Outlook and do my uh, documents. And there's so much more you can do in Outlook. We have videos out there. You can create new business partner. You can create all those documents. You can see all the open documents for this business partner. If you have the B1 usability package, you also can make your, uh, your custom reports okay for this customer and so on you see the balance of the customer you see how it's going the sales year to date or month to date for this customer so there is a lot of information you can get with crm for outlook basically you can get everything if you work with customers you basically have everything here at your fingertips and if i switch the customer you will see if I switch not the customer, if I have an email and this is not a connection to SAP Business One, it's not a contact, nothing comes up. But if this, if the email is recognized and this is a connection to SAP Business One, to your database, you see now it's Maxitech and you have all this information right here. Of course, it's different because now it's pulling up the business partner information for Maxitech because I have it highlighted. And then if you are in sales, sales and you can see right here my data, this is everything I did. Those are my open opportunities. Those are my open sales quotation and you see it's different customers. 
and this is what I have upcoming. This is what I have overdue, so I got to make sure I get my tasks done. And this is perfect when you work from home. Again, you say, hey, this is overdue. I got to do something with these opportunities or those activities. This is a simple database. You see, I have a lot of stuff in there. But this is upcoming. So even if you work remotely, you have everything right there and you get your, star, uh, your tasks done. So now we did... The second part, so we built the item, we sent out uh, the quote. In our case, you could have done a sales order. But now you are done because the third step, print and delivery will do that for you. Because I have it scheduled to every hour or every 30 minutes or every minute, it's that's up to you. I want it to kick in and send out all the new sales quotation. So you are done. You don't even have to worry about the third step. But what I'm going to do, I will go into SAP. But remember, you do not have to have SAP installed. You don't have to have the client installed. You don't have, you don't have to have SAP running on your laptop, okay? Because you don't need to. I have it, of course, running because I, I do demos. And I'm going to open up my SAP really quick. As I said, you don't need to. But... First, I want to tell you, anyways, we are coming out with this new dashboard um, widget, which is calendars, and it gives you, it shows you the quotations they are due. Let's go back what I just mentioned on CRM for Outlook. All our products, they are great. It gives you all the information that's needed. Those are my sales orders they are due and so on so this is a new widget that's coming out you also see we have the sales process i have displayed but of course we have different processes you can display also here oops i just missed it huh? there we go sorry so we have the purchasing process and so on and you see my skin is the black background this is also new with the since last year if you don't know yet if you have the boyum dashboards you can also change the skin right here and you have all those options okay but i'm gonna go back to my print and delivery i'm gonna hide this and you know if you have print and delivery if you haven't heard of it you're missing out you do need the usability package uh, the usability package is a tool where you can customize your SAP business one the way you want it. You can create new tabs. You can, uh, you see, you can create these buttons. You can put uh, reports in, uh, as SQL reports in tabs. You can do validation. If you look, the account balance is green on some customers. It's red on other customers because I want the user to see right away, hey, this customer is over the uh, credit limit. So you can do validations. You can automate your, your tasks with the usability package. I used to implement SAP Business One and I always say nobody, any SAP Business One user um, needs to have the usability package. Uh, it, it's a must almost. They're really, um, uh, they're really missing out if they don't have it. So that's the usability package. But now let's go to print and delivery. With print and delivery, like I said, you are done. You work from home. You work remotely. You can go ahead and do your next sales uh, order because you never have to email them because the system will do it for you. When I go to uh, the usability package, print and delivery is a module within the usability package. has different licensing. But if I go in here, what I'm talking about is the scheduler. So you can tell... The system, because the service up running anyway, somewhere in the world. So even I, I live in the US, but I go to Europe a lot. So I can always connect with my CRM for Outlook or Cloud because I don't need to have it running locally. I don't have to VPN. I just need internet and connect. So going back to here, there's my sales quotations. So I can set up the scheduler, and this is what I was talking about it. Do you want it hourly, every hour? And you start at 8 o'clock in the morning, maybe, okay? So it checks every hour. Or do you want it minutely? 
okay? Or even daily. Some people send it out once a day and they maybe send it out at 5 in the afternoon. All the new sales order sales quotation goes out. With the sales order sales quotation, I maybe would do it hourly to make sure the customer gets it right away. So, but this is done for you. You don't have to do anything. On my slide, you do create the items if you're allowed or somebody creates the items and you do the, uh, uh, the sales document, the quotes or sales order. And with print and delivery, you get so many more um, function you can do uh, you can do conditional action meaning if it's a first time customer you actually send a different email with more attachments because you want to tell them what else you do what kind of other services you provide okay but if it's a regular customer you send a regular email okay so it's very very powerful and as you see you can automate it it just took you looking at this slide there is you know you build the products you do the quote and then you now you have to email to the customer print and deliver will do that for you so this is what i wanted to talk to you wanted to show you take our products take advantage of it but everybody has to work remotely uh, at one point. You know, we have children and so on. Or like what's going on right now, everybody is at home, work remotely. And this is, those are great tools for you. Use them. They are very easy to set up. There's really not much to get connected to the Boyum Cloud or get connected to CRM for Outlook. It's a very simple process. And also with the scheduling, with print and delivery. And you have all your tasks done, uh, tasks, done, tasks done in a timely manner and your customer is happy. Okay. So if you have any more questions, please do not hesitate. You can always write us to sales at boyumit.com if you have any questions about the products or if there's anything else you want to see more in detail, let us know. Okay. So stay safe, everybody. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.